Wednesday and you know what you're here for and today I'm going to be doing exactly what I'm here for myself. I think that's going to be pulling this out and pulling it apart. Ooh, look at the size of that cable tie. Well, little L-series engine, would you like to come out? It would. And for a change, I'm going to pull it out without using the crane or anything else. Just the only thing I will need for this job is transit face and its winch. Yeah. Actually, I need to move George out of the way first. Back home. Have an early night, George. Before we carry on, I'm going to give a little mention to Sammy the Seal. He noticed yesterday that while pulling the streetwise backwards, I caught the door on the front of Steve. But there is no damage. I mean, there is damage, but it was already there. It's exactly the same otherwise. Not Sammy the Seal, James Corrigan. Actually, Sammy, I have something to show you later on in the video. Right, here goes. What again? Well, it looks like I'm going to need a bit more height after all. Why can't things be a bit more simple? It was yesterday. Now, because I don't have a ramp like you'd have in a proper garage, I have to uh, rely entirely on my creative side. This wing of course is absolutely rotten so it doesn't really matter about damaging it and it will get a bit more damaged. Yep, told you it gets a bit damaged. Stand clear. Stand clear. That is out of the car. Out without any casualties. Removing an L-series engine is like giving birth to a hippopotamus when you're a kangaroo. It's fairly safe to say that this wing isn't really saleable any longer. Probably no less uh, desirable than it was before, to be honest. That certainly suffered with an awful lot of corrosion. I don't think this car will start any longer. Good old transit face. Do you know what? I think I'm going to miss this vehicle when it goes. And yes, it is going to have to go. I'm going to have to sell it, you see. Unless you've been living on a different planet, you'll know that all vehicles like this, diesel vehicles, around the Greater Manchester area are basically going to be outlawed in 2023. Unless you want to pay £10 a day in order to use it. That simply isn't going to happen. I just said then, unless you live on a different planet. I didn't even realise this until a couple of days ago because I just wasn't really paying any attention. So, 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 unless you live on a different planet or live on my planet, you'll know about it. Now, before I start pulling that engine apart, I'm going to replace this orange jacket with a different orange jacket and go for a ride. Yep, I'm not going to bore you with all my biking. Um... Oh, that bin's fallen over. Oh, poor bin. That bin is still here. It's going to end up with fam taking it away, which will be about a £250 charge. And then storage fees on top of that. Well, it's so much simpler to just employ one of these people who have a recovery truck just to come and take it home for like 50 quid. Mid-November, afternoon, in a t-shirt. I love this country. Although I probably won't do it in a bit when I start cooling down. Well, that only took a couple of minutes. Now I need to get my overalls back on, get cracking on with some work. I 
thought I'd get myself dressed to do some work, but then I had to pay my phone bill first. And I've just been trying to get through to a real person on O2 for about half an hour. And every time you end up back with the same thing where it's like, if your phone's been stolen, just hang on. Otherwise, visit this particular site. Bye. Just had my bill today, but rather than the usual overpriced thing that it normally is, it's overpriced by three. So they want 168 pound for this month, which is amazing. And if I don't pay it, they're going to cut it off, of course. So obviously I want to speak to a real person about this because I go to pay it and it doesn't give you the option to pay the correct amount, the amount that you should be paying. All it does is give you the option to pay £168, which is of course a lot more than what I should be doing. Can you understand why this is a bit annoying for me? Well, this video turned out to be a bit different to expected. Very much so. In fact, that's over an hour taken out of my time because of O2. All dressed up with no work to do now because it's too dark. I had to pretend that I was leaving O2 in order to get to speak to someone. Once I pressed that, then suddenly, you know, they wanted to talk to me. So there's a tip for you, I guess, in future. Make them feel like you don't want them. And I don't at the moment. Typical example of a company not wanting to know its customers until they think you're going to go somewhere else. I'll keep that as an option in future. Pretend that you don't want to know. Lie to the phone company. Having got through to a real person at that point, he then put me on hold and he said it will just be two or three minutes. What was rather amusing about that, of course, is that the music that they were playing for people on hold was, yeah, the Minutes Waltz by Chopin. You couldn't make it up. And I'm not doing it because I don't need to because that's exactly what it was. I mean, when they're, they're saying things like it will only be a couple of minutes, that really is asking for trouble, isn't it? And I know that the big man Freddy himself is probably the only person who could ever actually play that piece in one minute. So I was expecting the minute waltz on loop for maybe three or four times. But no, it wasn't. That piece ended and then another one came on that was probably about three minutes long. And then the minute waltz again. And then that came off and some other complete nonsense stuff came on. By the time I did actually get to speak to another real person, 20 minutes had passed. That's not an awful long time, but when you're told two or three minutes at the most, it really is. And the really funny thing, you'll laugh at this. Having told the lady on the other end of the phone my problem, she then asked if I wanted to go off and sort my bill out online. <laughs> Ridiculous. What a waste of an afternoon. Minnie's still here. Look at this chap. What do you reckon he should be called? Sammy? No. K. K. Seal. 